Hi, this is Danny from Living Free Over 50, and I have another video for you today. We are going to be exploring Canyonlands again. Canyonlands National Park has three main areas, and they're very well separated. They are, you can drive, I don't know, 20, 30 miles um, in between, and so there's a lot of driving, and each one is kind of distinctive. And so I've just shut this up into two videos because I did them on two different days. The first part of Canyonlands, I'll put a link to the video in the description if you didn't see that one. That one was gorgeous. That's probably my favorite part of Canyonlands was needles. The second part we're going to do today is Island in the Sky. And this is basically a series of big canyons in Canyonland National Park, big surprise. But Needles was full of more rock formations that you could look across and just see. Um, Island in the Sky is more canyons, and then you can look down and see in the canyons. And then as you're looking across kind of the horizon, you see kind of popping up what look like, if you can imagine just the the base kind of a sea that do look like kind of islands um, in the sky. But I guess it's named for mostly for one dome called the Upheaval Dome. And I didn't even get a picture of it. I don't know how I missed it. I will say that the the national parks here in Utah have been quite crowded. I got turned away from the arches the first day we tried to go, and then the next day went very early. Uh, they have been very crowded, but they are extraordinary. All of them are, all of them I've seen so far. So today we're going to talk about, and we're going to see pictures from Island in the Sky, and it's gorgeous. I'm going to mostly just share my pictures and then I have a couple little videos. No big drama or anything, just a little bit of gorgeous scenery and a little bit of exploring, a little bit of hiking. So let's take the journey. Quickly, I did want to mention also, so the, the third part of Canyonlands is called the maze, but it's primarily, I believe, for people who are um, backpacking and hiking, really enthusiasts, because you go through, and I think it's anywhere from two or three days to a couple of weeks, and so that's for more backcountry, I think, and just more people who are really in good shape, really into the whole uh, let's really get into it. So I can see where that would be right up some people's alley. Uh, definitely not mine. I'm sure it's gorgeous though because all, I loved all of Canyonlands. The other thing I was going to say, oh, I'm still, I'm still getting sunburnt here and there. I'm very fair skinned and I am constantly underestimating my need for sunblock. You would think I would have learned by now, but you have a cloudy day, you think you're fine. I managed to squirt a little sunscreen on my arms. My arms are not burnt at all, but yesterday my face got quite red. But like I said, there was cloudy, it was cloudy, but you know, I'm up in the elevations. I'm anywhere from maybe five to 6,000 feet right now, maybe four to 6,000 feet, somewhere in there. And so, you know, you're just closer to the sun and it just hasn't quite hit my Midwestern mind that my needs are all different out here. <laughs> so anyway, just a note for anyone who is, who may be as clueless as I am, um, I get burned very easily and um, I have my hat and I have my sunscreen, but I have not been careful enough, but I'm gonna do better. Anyway, off to Canyonlands, off to Island in the Sky. Here we go, so welcome to Canyonlands. I look so happy to be there, which I am. I love these Utah parks, they're amazing. So I always read these signs, and then as soon as I'm done reading them, the information goes right out of my mind. This is just one of the big overlooks. And it's just canyon after canyon, and they're amazing. But after a little while, it's like I get overloaded, you know, I'm overstimulated with all the gorgeousness and all the scenery. This is that same canyon, just the other side. It's so vast. You see this road going down and the big V, the switchbacks and everything. It's called Schaefer Road, I think. And 
I'm trying to give some scale here. So I'm about to zoom in on that road that you see right there. Those are two people down there. It's just immense. There's another little shot of the canyon. It's so hard to get this stuff, you know, on video in another mountain range. It's like layers and layers and layers of gorgeousness and rock formations and canyons and just layer upon layer. Here's another one. Just walking around the edge. <laughs> in the regular audio, I'm breathing kind of deeply. This is a little close to the edge for me. I tend to be very afraid of heights, as you already know, if you've been watching any of my videos. Here's just a still shot. That was the Green River that made that, those beautiful indentations there. Whale Rock, I love this one too. Wait till you see it in the next picture. It does kind of look, the front of the whale is at the left, and it kind of has a tail to the right, but I kind of miss that <laughs> in my picture. I'm still a work in progress, right? Anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for watching. I just truly appreciate you and hope you have a great day.